It Monday. Monday, March 11th, 2019. Back for another Monday show. Woo! That was a good throw. <laughs> that went quick. So it's Monday, March 11th. Second week of March. 14th episode of the Monday show. If my math is correct, it's probably not. We're getting right into it. Motivational quote for the week. Let's get motivated. Remember that not getting what you want is sometimes a wonderful stroke of luck. That's the Dalai Lama. So, sometimes <laughs> not getting what you want is a wonderful stroke of luck. I wanted that card to go across the room, but it didn't. So, I get to throw it again. What a stroke of luck. I can't pick it up, though. Here we go. Got it. <sighs> didn't go very far. So, keep that in mind. Sometimes uh, the not getting stuff is the good good part. Not the, the getting stuff. Like, not getting the cold? The flu? Good stuff. Not getting a million dollars? Could be bad, but it could be good. Maybe, maybe maybe you didn't need those million dollars. Think about it. In your head. Brain, be motivated this week. As we move into fun facts. Fun facts for the week this time. About the country slash part of the UK, Ireland. I think part of Ireland is uke and then part is not. I don't know. It's a thing. So Irish fun facts due to the fact that like the Sunday upcoming, the 17th, is in fact that day with the, the saint dude, the Patrick guy. Uh, number one fun fact. In 1447, way back in the day, mustaches were illegal in Ireland. You're not legally allowed to grow your face hair in the upper lip area. I don't know if the beard part was legal, but it specifically said mustaches were illegal. Uh, the Titanic was built in Belfast, Ireland. North Ireland? or what? It was built in Belfast, then came over here and then sunk to the bottom of the ocean. Um, when you see Mac and O in front of names, like O'Shea and MacDonald, Old MacDonald had an O'Shea, uh, Mac means son of, and O means grandson of. So, Old MacDonald was the son of Donald. Not, not the, the, the Trump one, but. Uh, and historians say that green was not St. Patrick's color. In fact, it was light blue. So, all you maniacs, I'm repping. So, somewhere in here there's some light blue. I'm repping. St. Patrick's Day, getting ready. No green to be found. Ha. Historians also say that I never was able to throw a good card. But that's besides the point, because it's time for Lego. We were working on the base of El Bao. The bottle's done. It's got the water in it and everything. We were working on the base once last we spoke. Fly in the magic table of helpful holdingness and the phone of timing. Rip that boy open. All right. Um, give me my timer. Give me the timer. I missed the timer. What'd y'all think of the song from last week? That was something, huh? Okay. Where were we? We built that side. We built that side. So we are on step number 83, page 104. For those of you following along at home, flip to that page 104. Where we will begin constructing in three, two, one, go. Got it. Nailed it. Okay. Need two of the long pieces of the gray variety. And then six of the little teal, I guess, pieces. Aquamarine. I don't know what color that is. How many colors can you name? Like macaroni, I think, is an actual crayon color. So that, that counts as well. Throw macaroni in there. You got brown. Got green, teal, aquamarine, fuchsia, uh, beige, mauve. Mauve is a color, I think. Uh, 
Puce. Puce is a color. Maroon. Brick red. Sunset orange. Uh, lime green. That's a good one. Baby blue. Sky blue. Royal blue. Navy blue. Uh, did I say green blue? Green blue is in there somewhere. Um, more good colors. What have, what have I not said? Orange? Did I say orange? This one's blue. Tan. Uh, a, a bit of eggshell white. Oh, wait. We discussed last time. White's not a color. White's a something. Shade? Maybe? I don't know. I'm not an art major. I couldn't tell you. I'm just a, a person with some creative skills that are suspect at times. Do, 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 do. Ooh, we get some yellow. Did I say yellow? Sunset yellow. Burnt orange. Um, phthalo blue. <laughs> Something about umber. Umber? Amber. Where is this piece I need? Oh, no! Oh, there it is. It was hiding. It was so dark, it blended in with the box. So put these on the top and then flip it upside down. I gotcha. I gotcha. Upside down. And it just sort of slots in there. Cool. 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 Um, the Those pieces. I didn't say purple, did I? There's purple. Uh, violet. Uh, pink. Hot pink. Light pink. Dark pink. Blue pink. There's no blue pink, I don't think. What is blue pink? There's uh, maroon. I said fuchsia. Um, the gold is a color. Silver. Bronze. Is chrome considered a color? Chrome. Um... Lime? I said lime green, but I didn't say lime. Definitely different colors, I bet. Because lime green is like neon green, but the, the actual color of a lime is a different green than lime green. The inside, but the outside, you know. Um, grapefruit? Or mm -hmm. How many fruits can you name? I could name about 27 fruits, I bet. But I'm not going to do it now. Because I just named colors for most of five minutes. While we were building the space. Lego in space. Okay. I said base and it reminded me of the word space. So I said something about space. That's how my brain works. Get with it. What song should I sing next? Give me some... Uh, Give me some suggestions down there in the chat if your ears aren't bleeding from last week. What song should I destroy next? What topic should I use? Had a good time singing about Jello. Obviously, uh, if you didn't guess the song last week, that was uh, Hello by Adele sung with words that were Jello relevant. Uh, celebrating Jello week about three weeks late. Uh, ooh, we get to put the little compass thing on there. I may. I had an idea to do a whole show where I just make parody as, parodies of songs. Call it I Don't Know Yet. There we go. We got a little compass thing in there now. Which way is north? Uh, according to this, it's that way, which isn't actually that far off. North is sort of like that way at the moment. Oh, 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 where'd it go? Plop this down there. Come on. Pop! Nailed it. I got seven seconds! Alright, we'll stop there for today, because we're about to make the, the compass thing. Stop, stop, stop. Thank you. So we have moved up to page 110. Step 91. We got some gold pieces coming into effect next. These little boys here. Toss them back in there. Um, we'll move on to, to continuing the base. Putting a little plaque on it. Going through. Oh, we're actually not far off from ending this thing. We're going to build that thing. Then we put that on there. Then we shove the boat on there. 
And we go to legoideas.com. Have an idea for a Lego set? Learn more about how it works. Also in the comments, if you feel the, the urge to, let me know. We, this is what we did today, by the way. We'll give you a good look. We'll put it back underneath the bottle where it will be going eventually. But let me know if you have any suggestions for future Lego sets we can build. Big ones, little ones. Maybe even like a, a whole Lego building show. Holy crap. I would be amazed at how much fun I would have. Lego! That just stays there. That's where it goes now. Moving on. Through this episode of the Monday Show, March 11th, 2019, Monday. Uh, this week, one of the favorite segments of this guy, the creator of the Monday Show and this week, where we look ahead to this week and uh, find out what is going to happen this week and what we can celebrate slash accomplish. Today... March 11th, Monday, is National Napping Day. Just a few few hours ago, a little over 24 hours ago, we done lost an hour. It was ripped from us. Uh, so this today's napping day. Nap that hour back. Get yourself back on the sleep schedule. And uh, enjoy yourself a good nap. Tomorrow, the 12th, uh, Tuesday, is National Pancake Day at IHOP. You can go in and get a free short stack of buttermilk pancakes for free. It's free for free. Um, and then you're encouraged to then donate to it supports Children's Miracle Network Hospital Leukemia, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, and Triner's Hospital for Children. So go and get yourself some free pancakes and then help some children out. That's what you do tomorrow. Celebrate that up. Free pancakes and helping kids. Good thing. Uh... The 13th, which will be Wednesday, is National Open, Umbre Open and Umbrella Indoors Day. I don't have an umbrella, um, so I won't be doing that. Well, it's not yet the 13th, so if I did it now, it would be horrible. Um, that's not Friday the 13th. I wonder if that's ever fallen upon Friday the 13th, and then you open the umbrella, and then what happens then? Like, a black hole forms and sucks everything in? I don't know. We did talk maybe a month or so ago about opening an umbrella inside. I don't remember what it had to do with. Maybe it was like National Umbrella Day or something. You can go back and find that. I don't know where it was. Uh, moving on to the 14th Thursday, 3.14, it's Pi Day! That's uh, maybe the third Pi Day we've had. I, I haven't looked back to, to tally up the cakes and pies we've had so far, but I think we're at three and three for each cake and pie. Um... But Pi Day, not the, the eatable pie, but like the 3.141596.3 something. Something like that. That may have been correct. That may have been wrong. Um, I didn't write anything down for it. It's definitely 3.14. Because that's the date. Because March is like the third month, and then the 14th is 1-4. So 3.14. That's why it's Pi Day. Uh, the 15th is Friday. Everything you think is wrong day is Friday. Everything that you think is wrong. So don't think. Just do. Or something like that. I think I think it had something to do with learning to have an open mind or something. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, the 16th is Saturday, which is National Panda Day. Woo! Go pandas. And the 17th, you know what that day is. Mr. Patrick's Day. Uh, go ahead and celebrate the Patricks all over the world. With uh, some some green stuff, but incorrectly with green stuff. So, I mean, just historically, you're all inaccurate. Um, yeah, pandas and then Patrick's. Uh, this week also being National uh, Awareness Brain Awareness Week, the awareness of the brain. We all have one, so may, let your brains be aware that you have a brain. Uh, and use it. People don't do that much these days. Use that brain. It's there for a reason gotta pump it in it's also the second week of national procrastination week which the second week of a week is weird to say but it is and it's national wildlife week so get out there and enjoy yourself some wildlife this week rerunning down that real quick so you remember nap pancakes umbrellas opening pie uh everything you think is wrong but pandas and patrick's are the days after that brains this week procrastinated up for another week and something about wildlife 
Now we go to the final segment of the Monday show for this weekend. Every week, it's do some stuff. Officially, three exclamation points at the end of that. So if you're ever writing something about it, three exclamation points is the official way to write that. Last week, March is coming in like a certain animal. It's a lion. So, you know, I put my dumb brain to work and went on into Photoshop as I do. And I came up with this. Um, This is what I would call lion liar pants on fire, which I somehow made it through saying without screwing it up just there. So that that's that's what I've done with Lion. Let me know what you've done at Lion show at, at show underscore Monday at the Twitter. Shoot me a shoot me a Lion type deal. Maybe you made like a lion with a donut mane. That was another idea I had. You can steal it if you want. Or or you made a lion with uh I don't know. Continuing on. Do some stuff this week. We've given you an option. I decided to keep the uh, the animals going. I was gonna make it a pie pie type deal, make something with 3.14 of the pie thing, but I decided screw that. We we got it's wildlife week, animals galore. We started with a lion. We're probably gonna end with a lamb at the end of the month, cause that's how March works. So this week it's a pick your own prompt week. We have two choices in honor of pandas being celebrated this Saturday. You can do something with pandas, or you could do something. With that thing that's not in Ireland, a snake. St. Patrick maybe got rid of them, maybe didn't, probably didn't. There were just never snakes there to begin with. But he claimed to. That's another thing to learn from St. Patrick. If, if you ever, like, walk into a room and it's, like, super clean and somebody else walks in after you, would be like, I rid this place of germs. There's no germs here anymore. And then they'll have a, a, a day about you. They'll be like, this is forevermore the germ eradication day by this man. So there you go. That's Monday, March 11th, 2019. Join us next week for Monday, March 18th, 2019. We'll be back the day after St. Paddy's Day. Something will happen. Uh, Probably something else with animals will happen. Because I guess it's animal month for do some stuff. Do some stuff, animal edition. Don't do do animals. Uh, (laughs) Have a good one. I'll see you next week.